It's uh, yes, uh, 8 a.m. Okay, and, awesome. Uh, and, for, and for you? Um, I am in Idaho, in the in the United States, where it is midnight right now. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I am I am what we call a night owl, and I I get most of my energy at night. So, right. so therefore, <laughs> so, uh, that's it, that's one of the reasons I teach at this time. I like this hours. So, okay. Hi, and hello, Moises. How are you today? Hello, Holly. I'm doing well. Thank, thanks for asking. Very very good. And uh, remind me, you are either you're either from. You're from Spain. Spain. Okay. The, okay. The same hour than in Belgium. I, I just get, I just get, get up. I just okay. got up. You just got up this morning. Okay. And then um then Salvatore, you're in Italy. Did you also just wake up? Hi teacher, yes. I just wake up. Good morning. Morning. All right. <laughs> and Ali, um what time is it in Saudi Arabia right now? What time now? Ten p.m. Uh, ten sorry, ten a.m. Ten a.m. Okay. Yeah. In so it's morning. later. Later. All right. Okay. And Sabina, hello. Where are you located, Sabina? Hello, teacher. I'm well, thanks. And, and where where are you from, Sabina? I'm from Italy. Italy. Okay, welcome. And you are your microphone is a little too close to your mouth, and so we hear you breathing. Sorry, you can move that away. It's better That's now. Is it better That's now? Yes. A little bit. Maybe somebody else is breathing too. So always make sure your microphone is further away from everyone. So maybe that's me breathing. No, it's not. <laughs> not what I'm hearing. So anyway. All right. So when you guys are not um, actually uh, speaking, please mute your microphone, and that's up on the top of of the screen, and you'll see a little microphone icon. And just uh, press on mute, mute the microphone. So and welcome again, Jabo. So thank thank you for coming. Can we check your microphone again? Okay. Uh, no, it's very clear. Oh, good, good, awesome, awesome. And hello, Ramsey. Welcome back. Hi again. Hi. Now, uh, for those of you who were in the colors class before this, you are going to find that this class was is going to be much, I hope, much easier. <laughs> so the last class was a a, a bit uh, a difficult. Bit yeah. Yeah. Uh, difficult. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have just. Uh, Reading so many colors, I have a little bit color bright. bright. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little color blind now. Yeah. And so it was quite challenging, and um, there was a lot of new words. This time, this class was also a vocabulary class, but you won't find as, I don't think for those of you who were here in the last class, the class, there will be as many new words. So, but do, uh, th there should be some new words, or of course you're wasting your time if they're not. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, for those of you, I think, uh, I guess, um, Giuseppe, you're the only one, and Sabina, um, you guys are new to me. Um, just a little bit uh, quickly about me. I am in, uh, located in Idaho in the United States. Um, I actually did live in Europe for 11 years. I lived in Finland, and I also lived in South Korea for two years, or just under two years, and um, have been teaching English uh, since, I can, uh, since 2006. And uh, since before I came back from um, from Europe, and uh, absolutely love this. I've been at Verbling for about two months. Uh, no, no, I guess four months now. It feels like two months. <laughs> so, okay. So uh, this topic today, we are going to go over animals. Uh, first of all, um, are are all are I want to just are are you all animal people? Do you like animals, Ali? Do you like do you have any pets at home? No, I don't have in my home, but I like the the picture. See, mm -hmm. this picture. Yeah. I, I I like. You like? Yeah. Have you have you ridden a camel before, Ali? Uh, <laughs> no. 
Okay. I have. <laughs> so. You? Did you do it? Yeah. When, when I was... I don't even know if I could find the picture. I, I might be able to. When I was in um, Dubai in 2000... Oh, yeah, when I was in Dubai in 2008, um, uh -huh. we, we found a... Uh, I was at a festival. It was an international festival, and... Uh, they, you could ride the animal, or you could just have your picture taken. And um, I was going to just have my picture taken, but the animal decided to move, <laughs> so <laughs> so he 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 went got up on his own. And um, so I I got a chance to ride the camel. Has anybody else here had the opportunity to ride a camel? I ride a camel once. Uh, when when were you doing it, Sabrina? Uh, I went to India and I've been there three months. So um, with my friend, we went to Rajasthan and there we had a three days trip in the desert uh, and wow. uh, we rode a camel there. Uh -huh. so, so you rode it, it very in India? In India, in Rajasthan, yes. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they had camels in India. So that's, yes, that's something new for me. They, uh, okay. All right. And uh, anybody else ride a camel? Has anybody else uh, uh, ridden any or uh, been with any uh, done anything with an animal that is rare and unique? In Taiwan, it's a very unique experience to ride. Uh, to ride a camel in Taiwan. Yeah. Oh, it, it, is it, is it possible to ride one in no, Taiwan? No, 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 I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very rare. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and um, here's my camel picture. This is on from Facebook. Let's see. And then, so oh, that it was. Cool. It was supposed to be just a real small. Oh, this is my friend's kids. Um, come on, go back. It's supposed to be just a real, a real, sh you know, short time. But I got to get on it a little bit longer. It's really cool, and that's a terrible picture of me. So let's <laughs> go ahead and take that off. Um, so, so you, there are uh, camels in uh, Taiwan, then Jabo? Uh, only, only in the zoo. Yeah. Only in the zoo, okay. Uh, yeah, but the people don't don't keep camel in their house. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So, Daniel, welcome. Uh, from Kazakhstan. Question for you: Do you have any pets at home, and do you like animals? Yes, I like animals, and I have pets in home. At home. Okay. What kind of pets? I have dogs, cats. Okay, dogs and cats. Okay, excellent. All right, and and Giuseppe, how about you? Do you like animals, and do you have any pets at home? Giuseppe, Giuseppe, are you able to speak? Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> No, no uh, yes, I, I have uh, I, I like uh, animals and I have uh, two cats and uh, one dog at home. Oh wow! Okay, two cats and one dog, yes. and the cats probably dominate the dog. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> Davo, do you have any animals at home? Yeah, I, I like animal. I I keep the parrot, gray parrot. Really? Uh, yeah, a bird. A bird can talk. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I heard. He, he he can learn how people talk. But uh -huh. just just sim simple words, uh, just like uh, uh, "hello" in Chinese, mm -hmm. and uh, it can imit imitate uh, some some telephone ring and some sounds, uh -huh. sound, uh, something like that. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Very intelligent, okay. very a little bit noisy and uh, talkative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard that uh, parrots live a long life, like 25, 30 years. Yeah, a great player can live uh, 50 years. Okay, I, wow. Yeah, I, okay. I checked it with Wikipedia. Uh, it says it can live uh, 50 years. Very, wow. very long. Yeah, longevity. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moises, how about you? Do you like animals? Do you have any at home? Yeah, I like animals, but I don't have any 
at home because I live in a in a flat in a, in the city center. Mm -hmm. Or okay. maybe if I if I lived in in a in a village or in a in a single house mm -hmm. with uh, with countryside or with 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 grass, I would I would like to I would probably have a a dog, um, maybe a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's nice of you to be kind to the animal and not make him live in the flat, though. That's good. So, Rimsey, how about you? Do you like animals, and do you have any pets at home? Yeah, sure. I like I like animals, but I don't have any pets uh, at at that moment in my uh, in my flat. Um, before mm -hmm. I had I had a dog uh, oh. and I had a bird, different kind of animal before mm -hmm. I had, but. Now, I haven't got any animal, but okay. I like. You like them? All right. Sabrina, how about you? Do you like uh, animals, and do you have any pets at home? Uh, I like animals, but now I haven't any pets. because When I was younger, I had uh, a dog, a lot of cats, because I lived in a farm. But when I got married, uh, I give up to keep uh, a pet at home because uh, I work, uh, my husband works too, and mm -hmm. also the children, we uh, aren't at home uh, very much. So uh, the pet will be alone uh, all day long, and it's very sad for mm -hmm. that, I think. Yeah. So you said, I don't have any pets at home, and I and I gave up pets when I, when I, work, when I got married. So... Thank you. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank you. And um, uh, Salvatore, how about you? Do you ha do you like animals and do you have any pets at home? Uh, no, I don't have any pets uh, at home, but uh, I like uh, the animal, and mm -hmm. uh, I like uh, to watch the program TV that uh, talk about uh, how to live uh, the animal. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, for those of you who have uh, known me a little bit longer, you've heard about this little guy. This is my pet. His name is Alpo, and he is actually the main reason that I started working at home. Uh, uh, started and I started researching back in 2005, um, teaching English um, online, and, and then I started teaching more online. It's because I was leaving him at home for 9, 10, 11, 12 hour days. And so I didn't like doing that. So so that's he's he's the reason. So I got him and he was born in Hungary, raised in Finland, and now he's in the US. So all right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's classify the animals. Where can you typically find the following animal? Put them into the correct categories below. So we have a bee, a pig, a cow, a sheep, a crab, a spider, a fly, a well, a gorilla, an elephant, a monkey, an octopus. And then we have in the jungle, in the sea, on a farm, in your home or garden. So let me know if there is a uh, one of these animals that you do not know. Um, and I will uh, pull up Google Images and show you. Uh, does everybody know all of the animals? Maybe an octopus. Okay, an octopus. I actually went to a Spanish restaurant when I was in Finland and um, actually ate this. So I think it's I think it's a type of a food that is common in Spain, but I'm not sure. Is that uh, Moises? Is this a common delicacy in Spain? Yes, o it is. Octopus. It's very tasty. It's very tasty. It, it is prepared with with like uh, with paper, with paper and salt, mm -hmm. and it's uh, very typical in the north in a region called Galicia, Galicia mm -hmm. in the north northwest of Spain. It's mm -hmm. uh, delicious. Okay, I um I had it there and I thought it was it was okay. Not there in Spain, but in Finland, it was okay, but. I, I I don't think I'll ever have it again. So, <laughs> but uh, all right. Um, any other words that you guys do not know? Yes. Okay. Club. Club. Which one? A club. Uh, third one. Third one. Club. A crab. Okay. Okay. Um, 
crab. 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 Um, a crab is um, also a food that we eat. <laughs> so, um, oh. very, very uh, common seafood. So this is this is what it is. I think most countries have crabs. I think this is an, an in the natural habitat. So, okay. Any yeah. other any other animal? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, Ali, can you choose one of the animals and put it in the correct category? Okay, in the jungle, we uh, so uh, 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 wool and uh, okay, just one, just one, uh, a monkey. Monkey, yeah. Okay, a monkey. Okay, oops. A monkey. Okay, so in the jungle, a monkey. All of a sudden, I just thought of the song uh, from the Lion King in the jungle, a mighty jungle. <laughs> the lion speaks tonight. So, uh, Daniel, can can you say um, a, a word, or is, <laughs> could you match it? Sorry. Um, for example, uh, a sheep <laughs> or a cow uh, on a farm. A sheep on a farm. A sheep on a farm. Perfect. Okay, and um, um, uh, Giuseppe? Yes, uh, a pig on a farm. A pig on a farm. Perfect. Okay, and... Um, Chavo. Mm -hmm. Okay, a spider in in my home and in my, <laughs> my garden, and okay. Spider Man in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually I have uh, I don't I haven't decided whether to ignore spiders and, or um, kill them. Um, but we have seem to have a lot of spiders in this this in my community. <laughs> I just I figure I can live with them. So Moises. Um, a crab in the sea. In the sea, a crab in the sea, perfect. Okay, and Ramsey. A whale in the sea, too. A whale, yes. Has anybody eaten whale, or am I the only one? No. Uh oh, am I in trouble? <laughs> Um, yeah, I ha when I was in Korea, um, I was at a Japanese restaurant and had well, and it was um, I liked the octopus better. So, <laughs> so, um, all right. Can you can you describe the taste, Holly? I, you know, I I really can't remember much about it. It was kind of like a raw fish, and but it had a it was a it was. N it, um, well, it's it's kind of embarrassing because um, I it, it did it didn't sit well with me, so I it didn't stay in me if that makes any sense. I I ended up vomiting it probably about fifteen minutes later. So, um, so not a, not a good experience. So, so I I can't really describe the taste because I don't remember. It was twenty years ago, so I'm sorry. Um, but I can say I've done it. Um, all right, um, next person, uh, Sabrina, uh, Rimsey. Uh, I said. Oh, you did, okay. Sabrina. Uh, a bee in the garden. A what? A bee, yes. A bee. A bee in the garden, yes, perfect. Okay, and um, Salvatore. Uh, an elephant uh, in the jungle. Okay. Has anybody ridden an elephant? No. 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 Eaten an elephant? Do they eat elephants? I haven't eat? done any of those. Eat? Yeah. Are, uh, are elephants eaten at all? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. Um, 
I I don't know. Maybe you know. Um. All right. Uh, and um. Ollie. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. Fly. A fly. Okay. We can yeah. see it from home. And also. In, in farm. Also. Yes, definitely on a farm. <laughs> so around the pigs and sheep and horses. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And um, Daniel. Uh, a cow on a farm. Yes. Uh. Okay. And we have also have a crab. So the last one, uh, a gorilla would be. Jungle. In the jungle. And then an octopus in the sea. What a question, right. please, teacher. What a question. Yes. Uh, in the uh, the in the in the jungle, in the jungle, in the sea, on a farm. In mm -hmm. your home. What's the difference? Why don't you say in the farm? In a farm. Oh, in the jungle, yeah. in the sea. In your home or garden, but on or, a farm. Or on the on the sea. Why don't you say on the sea? Um. Or why don't we say on a sea? On a sea. Yeah. Well, if for on, it could. Um, why not in a sea, for example? Uh, and the, uh, be following that, in would be inside. So if it's on the sea. Or on a sea, it would be on top of. So mm -hmm. boats are on the sea. Ducks are on, you know, on, on water. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, some type of birds if they swim on the water. But the, that's the reason for the sea. The jungle. I think it, it, anybody here from an area where there there is jungles. Has anybody here been in a jungle? No. In Africa, in Africa, jungle. Yeah, jungle. There's jungles in Africa, and there's also the the rainforest down in in South America that's very similar to a jungle. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason for in uh, the a uh, jungle and in the sea, uh, in this respect, it's because it's enclosed. You're. It's uh, usually if you go a, go to a jungle, you go basically inside a forest. You say in the forest. Um, yeah. And so, and also in, in in your home or garden, you're inside. You go you go through a door or you go through a gate to get inside. Where on a oh. for, on a farm, it's not necessarily the same. This is my guess. I don't know. Um, I would never say in. I'd never say on a jungle or never say on the sea. Or on the sea, I would if there was a, if it was about a about a boat. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but I but there are the question I have for them is why didn't the writers choose a on a, in a jungle in a c um, because the means we we know exactly which jungle you're talking about but in this respect we don't know which jungle <laughs> so or which c because there's many c's so that's a good question actually did it, did I answer the question satisfactory. That's good. Yeah. Okay, you understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. All right. In pairs, or let, as a, as a class, we can't do pairs in this class. Uh, let's name the animals in the pictures below uh, using uh, instead of a dictionary, <laughs> using your teacher if necessary. So, um, so a number a number one. Can anybody say what that animal is? Rhino. 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 Yes. <laughs> Uh, a rhinoceros, a rhino, or we call it uh, rhinoceros, is the uh, is the proper name. Okay. Okay. Number two. What is that called? Giraffe. A giraffe. Yeah. Giraffe. Okay. And number three. Anyone? <laughs> Uh, ostrich. 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 Yeah. 
Ostrich. Okay, and number four, Jabba, what is this? <laughs> it's a parrot. It's a parrot. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is very big. This is a big one. Is, is yours small? Yeah, my, my parrot is gray parrot, gray color. But this, uh -huh. this color, they have red color and uh, yellow color. Can, can you show us a picture of your parrot? Do you have a picture? Okay, but uh, you need to wait me one minute, okay? Okay, yeah, it, and do you know how to do it, how to screen share? There's a, a green um, a green box with a uh, with a white arrow, and that's how you can screen share. So may, may I share a link on the uh, web link chat? Perfect, yeah, that, that works too. Okay. Okay, um, and then, so we have a parrot, and then number five, what is that, everyone? A zebra. A zebra. A zebra. And then we have number lion. six, a lion. A lion. And then Opera. number seven, snake. snake. Okay. A snake. Okay, does anybody have a snake as a pet? Or do you guys know anybody that has a snake as a pet? Uh, Sabrina's eyes were like, no. <laughs> okay. okay I already passed the link on the Google chat. Yeah, I saw it. The, no, this is not your yours, is it? So it's just a regular oh. one? It's the same one. Same, a great, great pair. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, this, this pair is very intelligent. Uh huh. And, uh, he, he can pronounce words very. Clearly, and and a lot of parrots. Uh huh. So and this and this parrot um is is pretty much going to live uh, live your lived you guys you're gonna live with him most of your life, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so because it, it, it can live uh, about fifty years. I mean, and, very, very long uh, longevity is very long. Mm -hmm. How long have you had him so far? Yeah, I can't. I kept him uh, five years ago from from a baby parrot. Uh -huh. I I bought it from a bird shop mm -hmm. in my hometown. Have you ever thought about teaching him in English? English, I'm I never thought about that, but but <laughs> I will try. Yeah. <laughs> if if you're successful, uh, uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> so. Yes, you're right. Yeah, but I think that um, probably that animal has to be around the, the, the same language all the time. So, because I know parrots in the states and English-speaking countries speak English. So, um, all right. Uh, has anybody er here ever ridden a giraffe or seen a giraffe outside of a zoo? Never. Never. Yeah, I think this. Anyway, let's let's go on. Predator and prey. Okay, so this is a complete uh, uh, um, vocabulary class today. So let's match the following predators with their typical prey. So what does a predator mean and what does a prey mean? Anybody have any idea? Um, I have an idea about predator. Uh, it will be maybe hunter. Uh-huh, exactly. The hunter and then, of course, the prey would be, of course, the food. So oh, a human deer. <laughs> so, um, at least in my part of the world, uh, we have hunters. So, um, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's uh, Salvatore. Could you do number one, or do choose one of these and and tr and uh, match it? Okay. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, a wolf. Uh, a rabbit. Okay, a wolf and a rabbit. Okay. So a wolf and a rabbit. Yes. And three, okay. Uh, Sabrina, can you do the next one? 
Uh, a dolphin and a small fish. Yes. Small fish, F. Has anybody ever gone and swam with the dolphins? No, I haven't. No. no. no only, only watch. Only watch the dolphin swimming. Okay. Yeah. I've only seen the dolphin shows and dol in the dolphinariums and things like that. Okay, and um, Rimsy. Yes. Um, the low parts, a zebra. Uh, so a a leopard. Yeah. Yes, a leopard. A leopard and a zebra. A leopard. Yes. Yes, and a zebra. A zebra. Okay, and Jabo. A spider eat a butterfly. Is that right? Um, yeah, oh. let me check. A spider eats a butterfly. Yes, absolutely. And that's why I'm thinking: should we keep? Should should I keep spiders around, or should I kill them when I see them? Uh, you mean in your house? Okay. Yeah. Okay. If 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 you don't like it, uh, maybe you can kill it. Kill it, yeah. Uh -huh. But, but uh, in Taiwan, uh, spider can be a pet. Uh, oh, really? A, a big, big spider, a uh -huh. black color spider. Yeah. Uh huh. Some people like to keep them as a pet. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't mind that they kill the flies, and that's why I like them. So, so all right, um, Moises. Hmm, I mean, I am not sure of this too, but probably the um uh, and and I think that a a crocodile a crocodile a crocodile well I think there are there are no not mouse in the river so mm -hmm. or with the water so I would say a crocodile the the goat. But the goat also they are not in the in the in the water. So I don't know. Okay. I will go for eagle. An eagle would 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 it would be a mouse. Probably. Yeah. So an an eagle will be a mouse, yes. And I didn't actually look at the answers <laughs> and I we got one wrong, y'all. <laughs> so because a crocodile and a goat doesn't ma make any make it, so we've got one F. Okay, we we've got a problem with the leopard. Um, the leopard, according to this, eats a goat, but I think it can also eat a zebra. I think that both of them are right. Yeah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> the leopard is a car carnivore. Yeah, he can yeah. eat a goat and. Also, that, red is and zebra. I think that the goat would, a leopard would pretty much eat all of them, just like the wolf. So okay, we got three D, four C, five A. So they say that a crocodile will eat a zebra. <laughs> so, but so, so funny answer, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a really funny answer because if you think about a crocodile in um, in Florida. Would not eat a zebra because we don't have any zebras in in Florida. So that's a strange answer. I think that crocodiles might eat goats, but how funny! <laughs> so, so anyway, <coughs> do you guys have crocodiles in your country? No. No. Okay. No. Okay, I think the only, I mean, we have crocodiles in Florida, and then I think, don't they have them in Africa as well? So, okay, let's go on to talking point. Uh, what wild animals do you have in your country? Are there any endangered species? What unusual animals do people sometimes keep as pets? So, Jabo already said that in Taiwan, the unusual an animal is a spider. Is that the only unusual answer, Jabo? Unusual. Uh, unusual. Uh, uh, people also keep snake in their house. Some some people, I, I mean. Okay, uh, smi spiders and snakes. Ugh. Yeah, a, a little, a small snake, green green color snake. 
Uh huh. Okay. All right. And um, and in Spain, uh, Moises, what what kind of? Uh, let's start with the last question. What unusual animals do people sometimes keep as pets? <clears throat> Moises. Hello. Okay, maybe he's not there. Maybe he stepped away. Uh, how about Rimsy? How about in Turkey? Are there any unusual animals that people keep as as pets? Rimsy? Can anybody hear me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Sabrina, how about in Italy and then Salvatore too? We don't hear about uh, people that uh, keep strange animals for pets. Oh, really? So you don't you don't really know? I think that we have regular pets. Okay. Um, Salvatore, do do you agree with um, with Sabrina? Mm, yes, but uh, I have uh, one f my friend that uh, have uh, a snake in uh, his house. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so maybe a snake, okay. Um, but Ali, how about in, in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Are there any unusual pets that people keep? They just told me keep it in his uh, house. Goats and uh, sheep from him. Goats and sheep? And uh, dog also. Okay. And, and so uh, goats... Sheeps. Okay, I wouldn't consider a dog unusual, so. Yeah, sheep, yeah. sheep, not a sheep. Okay. Daniel, how about in Kazakhstan? Uh, here we have hunt, uh, traditional hunt with eagle. Uh, An eagle? Like pets, yes. Uh, uh, tame, tame them. Some people tame, tame, yes, tame them. Uh huh. And they can hunt on the fox. Uh, on the little pets, yeah. And if eagle very strong, he can fight with wolf. Mm -hmm. Eagle like pets, uh, like hunter. Yeah. We have yeah. like pets, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right. And and Giuseppe, um, how about in Belgium? In Belgium, uh, the unusual animals are the same, uh, like Taiwan spiders and snakes. Okay, spiders and snakes. Okay, and in in the U.S., uh, I would have said that the same thing: spiders and snakes. Until um, until recently, and uh, <laughs> a colleague and I, we we were at a meeting and we get we got kind of uh, sidetracked with um, a, <laughs> uh, uh, see. With the, the idea of getting this for, he, he was really excited about it. Um, uh, so uh, this is a very unusual pet. It's uh, small pigs. And uh, so we even got on, during this meeting, here we are, we're supposed to be working, and we, we got online, and um, he, he was like, I want a pig, I want to get a pig, and so we actually found a place up in northern Idaho that sells these small little pigs, and I don't, I should ask, I should send him a message on Facebook to see if he ever got one, <laughs> so, but this is, I would say, one of the most unusual an animals um, that people have. Um, George Cl Clooney has a regular size pig, which is considered very, very strange. So, yes. so, all right. Um, and Ramsey, welcome back. Can you speak now? Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I lost awesome. my connection. Yeah, that's, that happens. Um, I, I assumed as much when you couldn't answer. Um, uh, how about in in um, Turkey? What kind of unusual animals do people have as okay. pets? Um, may I share with you on uh -huh. on chat? 
it's yeah. a it's a document about to uh, and maybe you can translate me. Okay. Um, so does it Google Chat or a regular chat? Okay. Um, Roblox, yeah. Roblox okay. chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, so I have to ha have to try. It's a hyena. Hyena, yes. The the Latin Latin names hyena. Yeah, it's in the same in English. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, so people have hyenas in in Turkey. Uh, yeah, especially these species. Um, the species um, has some lines uh, on on their uh, on their body. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's special, especially. Uh, they they seen only in Africa and some part of world Asia maybe and mm -hmm. also Turkey too. Yeah, and well, I mean, the th how I know about them is from the Disney movie The Lion King. <laughs> so that's that's my knowledge of hyenas. So are they are they? Um, I mean, they're, they're, they can be wild animals. So, are they're domesticated enough? Are, are can are they like dogs? Are they loyal to their humans, or or do you know? Ramsey. Uh, sorry, my question. No, yeah, my question about hyenas. Are they? No, no, yeah. no. They, they are wild, wild animals. Okay, they're too wild. Okay. Yeah. All right. So 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 dangerous. Uh huh. Okay. And is, um, Moises, can you speak yet? Are you there? Yes. Okay. So how about Spain? What are some um, unusual animals people sometimes keep as pets in Spain? Well, uh, some the kids like to have a uh, small fish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So gold like goldfish? Goldfish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, All right. No, there might be a mouse. A mouse also. Okay. Some have mouse. Rodent. Okay, I'm just gonna put rodents. <laughs> so because that because a rodent could be um a rodent could be either a, a mouse or a hamster. A or, hamster, yes, yes, hamster. Yeah. Okay. So, iguana. So in Salvatore, some people have iguanas. Uh, yeah, some people have iguanas. And then there, were, the last time I taught this class, uh, it was it was a different hour. It was when most people, a lot of people from South America were there, and uh, there there was one in Colombia. Oh man, I wish I could remember the name. Uh, it was a very unusual animal. Um, and I didn't even know it was an animal, <laughs> so, um, oh well, I can't remember. So, all right, so what wild animals do you have in your country? So how about in uh, uh, Spain, Moises, what wild animals do you guys have in Spain? Well, we, we, we may have uh, uh, wolves in the mountains, but not too many. Mm -hmm. Also, we have bear, 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 bears, not too many, eagles, mm -hmm. um, snakes, mm -hmm. some bats. Do you have but any deer, deer or elk? De deer. Yeah. yeah. We have deer, but mm -hmm. they, they are, I think deer, they, they are no dangerous. To humans, they, es okay. they escape. They escape. Mhm. Mm okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, uh, all the animals here in Spain, I think, they they escape from from humans. Mhm. Mm Even the wolf. If you go in the mountains, the wolf mm, wouldn't attack you unless they are. Uh, you are. 
very close to them and you you try to 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 do something with the wolf they may def defend defend De defend themselves uh huh yes. yeah okay all right and how about in Belgium uh, uh, is it Jui Seppe Seppe yeah Seppe yeah, in Belgium uh, wild boar uh huh uh, fox and uh, I think it's all in uh, wild animal okay. there is to 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 spesh mm -hmm. animal. All right, thank you. And Jabo, how about in Taiwan? Okay, uh, I think there are many wild animals in Taiwan. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there. Uh, if you go to the wild area, you can see the frog, mm -hmm. wolf, leopard, and you you. Also, can see a very strange animal called armadillo. A what? Uh, uh -huh. Armadillo. <laughs> yeah. Could you send? Can you send a, a a link for you? A link. Yeah. I think everybody would want to know what this is. An oh, armadillo. Okay. Just wait me. Yeah. Just wait me a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought that Taiwan would have have fewer animals just because it's so small. So. That's my have my bad. Mountain. Yeah, so there's uh -huh. a made wild animal in in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. While well, you're getting while well, you're getting that link, I'll have uh, Rimsey can tell us about Turkey. So Rimsey, what wild animals do you guys have in your country? Yeah, I think it's similar to European countries like uh, wolf, bear, and um, Eagle, uh, mm -hmm. falcon, some kind of uh, wild birds. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I think that's all. Okay. And this is the animal that she he was talking about. I've never heard it. Never seen this. This is very strange. And this is is this is native to Taiwan? Oh, I I don't know. Yeah. Uh, when I see this animal, I I feel very very weird. Yeah. And this this species is very rare also. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So it's is it an endangered species as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Species. Okay. And so okay now on to Turkey. I get back to Turkey. So Turkey has pretty much the same animals that most of the European countries have. Then. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, Sabrina, uh, how about in Italy? Yes, I think it's the same of all the European countries. We have bears, fox, wolves, and all of these are endangered species. Oh, are they endangered as well? Wow. So it, yes, it's very difficult to spot them on the mountains mm -hmm. uh, in these days. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you agree with her, uh, Salvatore? Yes, we have uh, this kind of uh, animal uh, in the mountain: wolf, uh, bear, uh, eagle, uh, this kind of creature. Okay. All right, and Daniel, how about in Kazakhstan? Um, here, wolves and foxes. Um, we don't have special <laughs> special predators. Okay, so n nothing, nothing Im special. Okay, and like um, okay, and uh, Ali, how about in Saudi Arabia? Yes. So what what? What have, wild uh, animals do you have? Uh, wolf and uh, also we have uh, lion. Mm -hmm. Target also. Tiger, tiger. Ti oh, wow, a tiger. Yeah. yeah. Also hyenas. There's many hyenas. Uh huh. So is, yeah. Do they have hy Do they keep hyenas as pets as well in Saudi Arabia, or is that just <laughs> a Turkish thing? This is very dangerous. Uh -huh. you, can't, okay. you can't you can't keep close or uh, to say hi to the hyena. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's very very wild wild woman. 
Uh-huh. That was uh, animal. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's why it's so strange that people in Turkey do that. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, all right. And the U.S., uh, of course, it depends on the area. Uh, we have a huge wolf problem here, um, where, uh, and we, we also have a lot of hun- hunters as well. Uh, people hunt for bears and pretty much everything. <laughs> you name the wild. No, we don't have tigers or <laughs> tigers or leopards or anything like that. But with, uh, basically what you guys described in Europe is what we have pretty much here. We also uh, do a lot of deer hunting and elk. Deer and elk are very big here. So, All right. Let's go to animal similes. So this is complete the following similes below with the following animals. Um, and it, it also could be considered an idiom as well. It, does anybody know what the first one is? As blind as a... Anybody? Bat. 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 Okay. As quiet as a... Mm. Cow. Nope. No. Rabbit. Uh-uh. Rabbit. Love it. No. Oh. Mouse. Mouse. Quite. It's quite as a mouse. Yeah. As cunning as a fox. Fox. So cunning means as as um. Smart. Well, smart in a in a bad way. <laughs> if you're cunning, you're. It's it's not a good thing. So as fat as a cool. pig. 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 As fat as a pig. Um. As scared as a. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, yeah, rabbit, and then as aw- awkward as a <laughs> cow on roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now complete the sentences below with the above similes. Uh, the computer screen is right in front of you. Oh, let's go ahead and have some of you guys read this. Um, Jabo, why don't you start? Number one. Yeah. The star. Uh, the computer screen is right in front of you. You must be blind if you cannot read the email. So, so you would say blind as a bat. You cannot yeah. read the email. Okay. Okay. Number two. Sabrina, can you do that one? I will undisturb you. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. As, as quiet as as a mouse. Now, in, in, in some uh, cultures, um, w- people will say, I won't disturb you, I'll be as quiet as a church mouse. So that's also a, a common thing that people will say as a church mouse. Um, <clears throat> okay, number three, uh, Danil. Uh, I was as scared as a rabbit when they approached me. Yeah, okay. Oh. All right. And uh, ha- have you ever been as scared as a rabbit, Danil? Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, number four, um, Moises. Number four, Jack knows how to get what he wants. He is as cunning as a fox. He's as cunning as a fox, yeah. As a fox, okay. And number five, um, Moises, I, every time I th- see you, I think of the first time I had class with you, and you told us, it was about a class on cheating, and you told us about how you guys cheated in school. Do you remember that? And and so, mm-hmm. and so, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm thinking you guys were as cunning as foxes, you know. So anyway, number five, um, uh, Ju Ju Seppo. Se- I'm sorry, having problems with your name. Seppe. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. I don't think Sandra is ready for her driving test. Uh, she is uh, as uh, awkward as a cow on roller skates when she drives. This is the uh, this is the one. She is as awkward as a cow um, on ro- roller skates. Um, this one is one that I I have heard it before, but I have personally never used it. <laughs> so, 
I think it's because it's so long, but it's really funny. Um, number six, Ollie, could you do that one? Yes. If you carry on eating like that, you will become as a fox. No. Rabbit. So right here, number four. Ma mouse, mouse. So big as a pig. So you will come as fat, fat as a pig, fat as a pig. So okay. So Salvatore, tell me, have you ever? Uh, do you know somebody who, um, let's say for example, you are scared to drive with them in um, <clears throat> in uh, the car because they are blind as a bat? Uh, sorry, teacher. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know anyone? Uh, do you have a friend or a family member that that uh, you don't do not like to drive ride with them in the car because when they because they are blind as a bat? Uh, yes, uh, I know some. Uh, I know some uh, people that uh, uh, they uh, they have a scary uh, drive uh, in the evening because uh, when. Uh, uh, there is uh, dark, uh, there is uh, less uh, light, uh, mm -hmm. they, don't, uh, they don't trust uh, to drive uh, in the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, so when, they, when they're, they're scared to drive because when they do, <laughs> my, my mom's actually like that, but okay. Um, uh, Rimsey, do you know anybody who is as cunning as a fox? Yeah, I, yeah. I know many many people. Okay. Like, uh, as a fox. Can you think? Cunning as a fox. Do you do you trust them? Uh, do you trust these people? Um. Yeah, actually, um, to be uh, to be cunning is not. Uh, Bad personality, I think. If it depends on the use of the, this specialty, if people, mm -hmm. uh, if the person use use it uh, for bad things, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I I want to keep this kind of people. But if the person uh, use it for good good things, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it will be good. Mm -hmm. It's up to uh, usage, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of the time, if somebody is as cunning as a, as a fox, it's actually a negative thing because yeah. they usually use it for negative things. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so it's it's normally if uh, another word um, that you might use if you guys know sly, if somebody is sly, they're cunning. Um, uh, do you guys remember uh, many? Some of you, I think, many of you guys are old enough to remember the TV show um, Dallas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. J. R. Ewing. It was really funny when I learned this. J. R. Ewing was sly. Okay, that's his character. He's sly. Uh, J. R. Ewing, Ewing was cunning as a as a fox. That's his. That was his character. Where um, his uh, what's interesting. I watched this uh, a f probably about 10 years ago. I watched it over again. And J.R. Ewing's secretary's name was Sly, but which means Oli, his character was cunning as a fox. So. Oli, I, I need to say something. Uh -huh. uh, these days, these days, I think uh, J.R. Ewing uh, like a saint for, for these days. <laughs> compared to these days, J.R. Ewing yeah, compared, is a saint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can see what you're saying. Yes, that that might actually be the case. So, all right. Well, you all, I want to thank you very much for your participation. I hope you learned um, some new words and phrases, and um, I hope to see you in another class sometime soon. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye